Do you see these mildew spots right here? They're kind of subtle, I think, but I've used all kinds of cleaners right now to try to remove them. I've used all the different tricks and they're still here. I can't get rid of 20 year old mildew spots on my boat. Let me show you all the different steps and things that I'm trying to get rid of these mildew spots. But here's the end result right here. Like many people, I have battled with getting mildew off of my old vinyl boat seats. Uh, they have these stains on them along the edge here and they just get, they get really, really dingy and they just start to look like garbage. And part of it is because I keep my boat in the water. I'm in a very humid area. And when I have my boat out of the water, it's parked underneath of trees. So even with my canvas on and having them nice and clean before I winterize it, they just get just awful looking. And the vinyl is over 20 years old. So I don't expect a whole lot from it. I have tried pretty much every one of the approved cleaners that you are supposed to use on vinyl. White vinegar, soap and water, Dawn, using stiff brushes, using soft brushes. And the important thing with marine vinyl is the stitching that's between here. Because apparently if you use cleaners with bleach in them, that will disintegrate a lot of the stitching. And then your seats just fall apart. So you might be able to get your vinyl really clean, but your stitching is gone. Today I've actually been trying something that I saw somebody do using on a car forum and that's to use lemons. And they literally took lemons and they showed wiping it on mildew like this and how, you know, the lemon would get really dark and how great it worked. And I don't know if that video was just a whole bunch of fakery or what, but it does absolutely nothing on my boat and I've done things where I've wiped it and left the lemon soak, scrubbed the lemons in, done all the different kinds of tricks with it and it just has done absolutely nothing. You're not supposed to use bleach on this, but also I keep hearing that bleach is the only thing that gets rid of these mildew spots. So I was thinking maybe just a little bit of bleach in areas that are not right next to a seam. And here's how I plan to try this out. <laughs> the only bleach we happen to have is this, uh, Clorox for colors, stain remover, and color brightener. I put a little bit of it in the cap. It's kind of globby. Got myself some cotton balls, and here's that flat cushion that the stains just won't come out of. And it's kind of far from the seam, and I'm thinking maybe I'll just stick in here and see what I can do. So I'm gonna just dip this straight into bleach. And it's almost kind of a bluey color. And I'm gonna rub this in right here. Not seeing anything on the cotton ball. Let's dip a little bit more. See, it's like almost like a neon blue. It's a wild looking color. I'm just gonna set the cotton ball back in there. Let's just let that sit in there for a couple seconds, see what happens. So it's been sitting on here for a couple minutes. I don't think I'm seeing any difference. Let's uh, agitate it with my brush. I'm not really seeing any difference. Those spots are still in this vinyl right here. I don't think they're any lighter. So I'm going to rinse it away. Now I'm going to try this. Barkeeper's Friend. I use this on the hull of the boat. I've never tried it on vinyl before. I'm willing to take a gamble with this little spot right here. All right, as you can see, we've still got mildew spots right here on this, on this big back cushion right on the flat part. And this is after we've used everything else. So we're gonna try a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend, which is a silic acid. I'm 
When I'm using Barkeeper's Friend, I have a separate scrub brush that I use for that. A Barkeeper's Friend does a really good job removing stains from my boat hull. It takes off rust stains, water stains. It's really great on my boat hull. I've just never tried it on the vinyl before, because it's an acid. So you can see I've been scrubbing it in here, and you can still see the spots. They're still there. So that didn't even work. And with Barkeeper's Friend, you have to be very careful. You want to make sure you rinse that really, really well, because that is oxalic acid. And uh, I guess it can mess up like galvanized metal and some other kinds of metals if it's left on there for too long. So I've got that cushion all the way tilted up right now. And here's the spots that I've been scrubbing out of it. They're still there. They're still there. They're still there. The only thing that I found that seems to work pretty good, other than soap and water, which works to an extent, you know, any kind of soap and water, is this. This works pretty good. And this is the Starbright Mildew Stain Remover. I've had good results with it. You're supposed to rinse it afterwards, so it may actually contain some bleach. Somebody might be telling me, oh, hell no, don't use that. But I've tried a bunch of things. This isn't cheap. It does work, it does help. But even whenever I do use it, there are areas that just don't come clean. Now, just to show you a little before after, this is where I rub some lemon on there, which has done absolutely nothing. This is the very top of my back cushion on my boat. So it's right next to my swim platform. And I haven't cleaned this yet this year. So uh, typically what I've been doing, how I've been cleaning this stuff now is I've been spritzing it with this, right, with the Starbright. Letting that soak for a couple of seconds. And then I go after it with this plastic brush here. Um, which isn't too coarse of a brush, but it's it's bristly enough. And I give it a little bit of a scrubbing. And I don't know if you can see or not, I'm just going to go right up to this seam here. My scrubbing. But a lot of brisk scrubbing seems to make a big difference with a lot of the staining on the vinyl. I figure the scrubbing is helping to uh, you know, get some of the Starbright soaked in. I'm not expecting great results on this edge here where the major mildew staining is. All right, so let's leave that set for a minute or two. So I'm letting that soak in just a little bit now for another minute or so, and then I've got this damp towel that uh, smells mostly like the cleaner now um, that I'm gonna wipe it down with, and then I'm gonna spray it off with water, and then I'm gonna do it again, and we'll see how clean it gets. Last year when I did this, it got it pretty clean, but not perfect. All right, so now it's a minute or two later. I'm gonna rinse or wipe it off a little bit. I don't know if I'm wiping it off or rubbing it in. So now when you look at this vinyl compared to that vinyl, you can see it looks a whole lot better. It's hard to tell with the glare and the shine. But this has definitely got a lot of a lot of dark mildew in it, and this doesn't. But up here in the front edge, as you see, it's still quite stained up. So I'm going to do it again. All right, 
I'll let that soak in for another minute or so. So it's a few minutes later and I've let it dry. I've wiped it off. So it's been scrubbed two times and I've left it dry. So that way you could kind of take a look. Once again, it's a whole lot better, but it's not perfect. As you can see, there's still some staining right here on the seam. And in the flat areas here, it actually looks really, really good. See the slight little bit of ghosting stains though? But compared to the other area, I mean, it's like night and day, right? So that area is just very black. And this area is very tan. Now, as you step farther back, there's much less of a contrast. But see how you can still see some of the spotting? But here's an area where I haven't done any of it. And you see how the spotting is much darker through there. And then the areas that I did, it's not as dark. So yeah, maybe a third or fourth treatment will make it look even better. So much like a lot of other things on a boat, everybody has their own tips, tricks, and techniques for what works for them. And things that have worked on their boat that might not work for other people. What do you use to clean mildew stains off the vinyl on your boat? Or do you not even have to deal with it? Uh, once it starts happening, it's just, it's very, very hard to kind of win the battle with the mildew stains. And um, I haven't found anything that works perfectly yet for me. And it's one of those things that's gonna keep me probably from ever buying a brand new boat because my brand new boat will look like an old boat in a couple years because I can't fight the battle with mildew stains on my vinyl. So let me know in the comments below if you found some other kind of solution that works to get rid of this mildew spots on old vinyl because I haven't found anything. But this video right here, I think, is a pretty good video that you should be watching next. Check that one out. It's a good one.